Hello in TV land. It's Mark at William Glenn. And it's Wednesday night at quarter to 10. So what better thing to do than to show off some Department 56 pieces that you haven't probably seen before live. So I like to do this with some of our clubs and some people who maybe schedule some time with us to um, show off the new pieces so you can see them in not a catalog setting. And some people don't live near stores and sometimes seeing them online is kind of boring. So we do this so you can see them up close and personal. So the first thing that we're gonna look at here is the new Dickens Village uh, piece is called the Rooster Inn. And this piece I love because it's a um, an adapter piece and it comes with uh, lighting, LED lighting in here that is very romantic. Love this piece. I love this little kitty right here. We just got a new cat at home. And this little kitty sitting on the barrel like he just He's so innocent, didn't do anything wrong. So cute, little lantern here, stairs. This balcony here, this is really hard to do. The piece is sculpted and it goes into the ovens to, to uh, cure and to um, be fired. Now, during that process, that's what makes it hard from the clay. During that process, the piece shrinks anywhere from 10 to 18, maybe even 22%. So the holes that line up for this balcony here have to be perfect. And this balcony has to be constructed perfectly because it is attached afterwards. So love this piece. This is the Rooster Inn and that runs 185. So love that piece. And the accessory that goes with it is to keep the doctor away. A woman handing a gentleman an apple from her bushel and that is running Looks like 35. I should be wearing glasses. I don't know why I'm not. So Rooster Inn. I only have a couple of these left, so don't wait if this is something that tickles your fancy. The next piece on our agenda for tonight is called Covent Garden Manor. Now this, is, this piece is beautiful. It's gorgeously sculpted with spires, multiple chimneys going down probably to different levels of the house. Um, the topiary out front, beautiful architecture, all of the beautiful detailed sculpting on this. It's incredible. Doorway with the beautiful little holiday wreath on there. Now this one takes a single light cord as opposed to the Rooster Inn that was an LED piece. Now we always try to light our pieces using our new Airbright lighting system. Airbright lighting, if you're not familiar with it, is a wireless lighting system. You have these little um, receivers for a double one for a house, single one for like some landscape lighting. And we have our uh, kit underneath this table, which is the Airbright lighting kit and wireless light. Pretty fantastic. So instead of the single light cord, we're just going to put this house light up inside and we're going to illuminate our house that way. Beautiful. No cords, no nothing. Now, another thing I like to do with my Airbright is I like to cut a little piece of styrofoam and attach the Airbrite receiver to the side of the styrofoam to angle it up a little bit so that you can actually illuminate the outside of the house. Because when we dim our, our rooms for our displays, like that, a little bit, I've got some extra spots on here. Um, you kind of can lose the front of the house a little bit. So by creating up lighting, you, you gain that architecture back. So that's a really fun thing to do. This piece, the Covent Garden Manor is 165. The accessory for this is $28 and it is called Gardener for Hire. So he's out trimming the bushes and he can probably trim the bushes at your house. So we're gonna put this to the side and this one, love that piece. This is really pretty. You should see this in person. The next piece that we're going to go over is Huffam Fields Farms. Remember, these are all Department 56 pieces, the original village folks. And um, they are all in the Dickens Village. They're all porcelain, hand-painted, hand-sculpted, handcrafted, 100%. So this is Huffam Fields Farm with our friend the cow right here sticking his head out and some hay and a hay loft over here with the, the uh, little grabber thing for the hay bales. I don't know what it's called. If anybody knows what it's called, let me know. Um, I love this piece because we're starting to cut hay out here in Texas and it's really fun. So this one is again, a perfect candidate for the single light cord. 
or for the Airbrite because it is a single light cord. So we're gonna pop that right up in there and then illuminate our building just like that. So really easy, no cords, no muss. If you're doing one of those built up displays, same thing. Those, what we have under here is the mat. You can see the mat. If you go to williamglenn.com and look at search for Airbrite or go to the brands for seasonal and look, just look up Airbrite right there. You'll see the mats and how they work. They can, you can put them in any kind of configuration. And these receivers receive automatically through almost any surface. We've gotten them up to about six inches off the table when using just regular styrofoam. So Huffam Fields Farm is 160 and the accessory for this guy is Fast Friends. So it's this little boy, he's carrying some milk uh, containers after probably milking Bessie over here and his friend the cat. And I thought maybe that cat was related to this cat over here in the Rooster Inn, but I don't know. So I thought those were kind of cute. Anyway, this one, if you have New England Village, this would be a really good addition to New England Village since that's retired and you can't get anything anymore. So last piece for Dickens is Cricket's Cottage. Cricket's Hearth Cottage. Um, it's perfect sizing for um, Dickens. It can also go in to New England. Um, it might be a little large for that one. They don't go by scale. So you kind of just have to play with them. Again, this is a single light cord piece. So we're gonna take our Airbrite receiver, pop it up inside and boom, house is illuminated. How easy is that? I mean, you could just set up a village in no time flat instead of hiding those cords all over the place. The Airbrite kit is 149. Um, it was 179, but there's been a, a price reduction to 149. So you can go to airbrite.com, airbrightlighting.com, airbrightlighting.com, and bright is B-R-I-T-E, airbrightlighting.com, or just make it simple, go to williamglenn.com, where everything over 75 ships for free. And at 149, boom, you're done. All, that's, that's out the door. Tax if you're in Texas, sorry. Um, so this is Cricket's Hearth Cottage. Two things I really love about this one. It's got the little lantern out front, and it's got something a little different. Tom Bates, who I believe was the sculptor on this one, um, added these two open window panes here. So these two little pieces here are fit after firing, which is very difficult like we just talked about, but such a cute little addition. I've never seen this, this feature on any other Department 56 house, so it's new. They probably just figured out how to do it easily. Again, we're gonna uplight it with that little piece of foam attached to the back of one of the house lights. So there's our four new Dickens pieces. There's others, but we can go over those another time. Um, I have a very special piece. Oh, I almost forgot the accessory for that. A Christmas home honeymoon, Christmas honeymoon, <laughs> uh, $40. Also on the Cricket's Hearth Cottage, that is 150. And we, in the last, 20 minutes we just sold two so we have about five left of these i think i only have one left right now of the rooster inn after tonight but we will have more coming in in september so christmas honeymoon is 40 dollars. this is a great gift for an engagement a wedding somebody who's you know dating maybe the first christmas and you want to give something for their village or get them started on it it's a cute little piece for 40 dollars so, big piece that we want to talk about is part of Mickey's Halloween Pumpkin Town Village. I love this village. Last year they came out with Mickey's Pumpkin Town House and Minnie's Pumpkin Town House, and then like four accessories plus lighting and Pumpkin Town Center piece with lights up that looks just like the uh, giant jack o' lantern pumpkin in Disneyland. I love it. This one is great, and I was around when they were designing it. Um, kind of gave my opinion a little bit, kind of came up with some some ideas on the shape. They kind of knew what they wanted, um, but this is Mickey's Pumpkin Town Manor. And I think this piece is 180, if I'm not mistaken. I'll pull that up for you guys later. Um, but this one is selling quickly. I only have nine of these left right now, I believe. Um, this is a great piece, and there's two accessory pieces that go with it. 
I'm temporarily out of them, but we'll be getting more in, so check back later. And then one last thing, and it's also Disney. We have the Disney Facets collection and using our Air, Airbrite to uplight this. This is acrylic. It's cut um, like the Swarovski style faceted crystal. And there's a Mickey, there's a Grinch, there's Tinkerbell, there's Stitch, Winnie the Pooh is new, Eeyore is coming in. He is cuter than, can, cuter than cute, cuter than cute. I mean, and these pieces range in price from I think 19 to $24, depending on the character. But all of this can be found at williamglenn.com, williamglenn.com, everything over 75 ships free, within the continental United States. So you never have to pay shipping if you spend $75. So if you're spending 70, find something little, like this cute little Mickey, add it to your order, and then it'll be shipping to you for free. So find us there. There's a chat feature. You can ask any kind of question and we'll see you soon. Have a great night. Bye everybody.